Hey guys, I'm Shadow Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are working on another character design. This might be someone you might be somewhat familiar with if you've watched an older video of mine, as in a few weeks back. I did upload a normal drawing session where I did work on this particular character, but this time it's his character design, so we are working on the commissioned outfit design that I did for him. So this Rain Debon Gazelle, one of my many fictional anime base. So many anime base, not in real life. <laughs> so we started off this video with the lines already done. I cut it out because it was a very long and tedious process and the pose and the general drawing changed so many times that I thought I might want to spare you guys that particular torture. It was torture for me, it might be torture for you guys. So let's just stick to the fun parts like coloring where I don't really screw up as much as I do with lines, maybe. So I am using some reference. It was provided by the commissioner. Uh, it's mostly the colors, the hairstyle, uh, some minor details, and it makes my life easier to some extent. At least I know the base colors and stuff. So I want to warn you guys at this point that we are working on a base, so it's gonna be a nude body, and we're gonna be working on his skin. So we might get up close and personal in certain parts. If you're in a public place or if it's gonna put you in an awkward situation, you might wanna just come back later or skip on ahead to a part where there's actual clothes on the characters. So welcome back. We are gonna work on his skin. He has this light yellowish undertone to his um, skin color and we'll be adding a bit more definition to that later. Sometimes even in the middle of coloring, I still need to fix up some points, like those arms. Looking back at it now, I really do have a problem with wrists, don't I? It's either I make them too long or uh, the same width as the palm too much and not really giving it the proper definition that it needs. Noted. See? Even even if you learn stuff from your old drawings. I mean, this was streamed originally in July 5, 2015 and it's now as of recording July 30th, 2016. Oh damn, it's been an entire year since I drew this thing. <laughs> no wonder I see so many mistakes. Not cringing at an old drawing really helps too. I mean, if you objectively and analytically watch your old streams or uh, look at your old drawings, you'd you might notice some things or some mistakes that you still commit today. Like, I only realized that entire wrist problem now that it was a persisting problem until, well, my last character design, which is the Saiyan Fire Mage one. Even though a lot has changed since this 2015 drawing, uh, the coloring style has changed, the way I handle lines I think has changed a bit. I mean, in terms of I don't really rely on lines as much anymore. So. A lot of things can change, but a lot of problems can still persist even after a year. So don't be afraid. Look back at your old drawings. You can cringe, but don't cringe and run away. Look at it. See what your problems were, because sometimes you might notice things that still plague you until today. But that turned in, in, into an inspirational speech. Did not plan it at all. Then again, I don't have a script, so I really can't plan anything, to be honest. So up close and personal. Yeah. I hope you're I hope you took my advice and you're you're in a place that won't really get you into too much trouble. Hmm, that foot needs the ankle needs to be more defined, huh? Well, noted. So now we're gonna work on his hair. 
it has this really nice cool tinge to it like it's a, a cool gray blackish color to it which is really nice and actually do play around with this color scheme later on since this was a live stream and the commissioner was there i we were playing around with what would happen if his hair had a, a warm tone to it rather than this cool grayish tone so you'd see that in a few seconds in the end we decided that the warm the cooler tone still suited him better since he is supposed to be a assassin cold uh, poker faced character you see that switching there the there the half between a black that is influenced by red or a black that's influenced more by blue or cool tones yay we're at the fun part the part you actually came here for the character designing so for this one uh on the right side is an old drawing that i did of this character back when i didn't really know him as much and i'm pretty much almost overhauling the entire thing but i really liked some of the elements that i originally originally drew so i'm basing stuff of that taking in the good points and just overhauling the points that I felt were inconvenient or like really dumb to look at. So you can say this actually my entire design process, assuming that I had a good idea about it. So you'll see later on there's gonna be some details that I will skip, some details that I just completely overwrote. We're also gonna get some clothes on this onto this character finally. Sadly, the stream ended when I finished the entire first layer, so you won't be able to see the actual drawing process of say the jackets and the accessories. But I will still have that the original piece linked in the description, and I'll flash it in the end card as usual, just so you see that what's actually happened the entire thing. That foot gave me a hard time. So the color scheme actually shifted around quite a bit. Originally, I wanted it to be really, really dark, but his, already, his hair is really dark, and I felt a lighter color would set it off a bit. Of course, I couldn't choose any flashy colors for this outfit since this is his main work assassin outfit, and even though light colors aren't really ideal in that kind of prof profession, I like this color scheme though. I felt like a dark, too much dark was boring so you have to balance between practicality realism and what kind of looks good for this particular one i went more with it looked good so type of thing over practicality and realism so his colors are more of grays and really cool colors so If I recall, there's actually there's actually no color here that's warm. I all chose a very cool the colors at the cool end of the spectrum. And the only thing oh wait no no no. Yeah, this is this is the only thing that's remotely warm in this entire piece. And the only thing that actually has color in it is would be his knife, which you might not see anymore. So we are nearing the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this and maybe subscribe so you'd see more stuff like this. 
this is the only stuff I really upload to be honest and I hope I really hope you enjoyed that's my main goal and follow me on DeviantArt Tumblr Instagram for stuff and see you around